Number 18. Radioactive phosphorus is used in the study of biochemical reaction mechanisms because phosphorus atoms are components of many biochemical molecules. Cool. <laughs> the location of the phosphorus and the location of the molecule it is bound in can be detected from the electrons, which are beta particles, it produces. I'm kind of really loving reading these questions. It reminds me of maybe doing an audiobook. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> But anyway, we have a balanced equation, and they gave us a specific rate law. I know that this is a rate law because a rate law generally always starts off with a rate equals the rate constant, so it's just one general value in the front, times by the concentration of the reactants raised to the orders. So right off the bat, I'm just going to rewrite this as, okay, they gave me the formula, that's beautiful. I'm going to use that. So whenever they give you this specific uh, equation with actual values, you're going to take it and run with it. And it's times by that phosphorus, right? The 32 up top here, don't be scared by that. This is just written in, you know, um, the radioactive uh, balanced equations. But the 32 is just talking about the atomic mass, the number of protons and neutrons that phosphorus has. Now, the question is saying, what is the instantaneous rate of productions of the electrons in a sample with a phosphorus containing, or a phosphorus concentration, of 0 0.0033 molarity? Okay. Now, we're looking for an instantaneous rate. Instantaneous just means at a specific time. But according to the rate law... There's no time value in here, so nobody cares. But we're looking for that specific one value for a rate. And just know that a rate unit is in molarity per second. So whatever we find out this value as, we're just going to have the units of molarity per second. Change in molarity over change in time. And that's equals to the rate constant. Beautiful. And we have the phosphorus concentration of 0 0.0033 molarity. So inside here is going 0 0.0033 molarity. Okay. Now here, let's see. Rate equals that rate constant 4.85 times 10 to the negative second times the phosphorus, which is the 0 0.0033. Can't get any better than that, right? So let's go to Calci, 4.85 second comma means times 10 to the, and then we're going to do negative second, times 0 0.0033. Uh, good, good numbers, good numbers to me, press enter, and there it is. Looks like we can only use two sig figs, so I'll give the number back in two sig figs. Rate equals 1.6 times 10 to the negative fourth. Now... This molarity per second, this is a general unit. Nine times out of 10, you will use the units of molarity per second, mainly because the rate constant that's given is generally in units or some unit of a second value. However, our rate constant, the time value is in a day. So if we just did this, uh, multiplication with the units, the rate would equal this value was in day to the negative one. And anything that has a negative exponent, that just means that it's in the denominator. So this day technically is in the denominator. So the rate would be one over day times this value was the molarity. And these units can't cancel out, right? A molarity is not the same as day. So in this case, you have to just string them along. Remember that the molarity, that's in a numerator. We can always make this molarity over 1. And if you're multiplying by fractions, the numerators get multiplied together, and the denominators get multiplied together. So our total unit for here would be molarity per day. So just pay attention, because they could be a little sneaky. 
So in this case, we're not going to use that general molarity per second because they threw in a day here. So we're going to say this is change in molarity over a day. And that is your final answer. Okay, what do we think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I look forward to helping you with more questions. Um, yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for being part of the community. You guys rock. And I love hearing that, you know, this channel has been helping you out in your classes. Um, so just keep working hard. All right. Always keep learning. And that's how we get better especially at chemistry and physics and math, which by the way, we also have videos for those topics as well. So check the channel out. Okay. Um, yeah, I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.